Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today we're going to make some Celtic knot earrings that are very similar to the rings that I made using the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. What you're going to need for this project is the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. You're going to need 20 gauge wire and I have my round pliers, flat pliers, cutters, I have my earring hooks and I'm using six millimeter miracle beads. So we'll start by setting up the jig. I'm just going to put the small size pegs in there and it's the same setup that we used for the ring. I'll link up the templates below in the description. So we're going to just set them up in a triangular formation and always make sure that you put the plugs on the back. If you're missing plugs, I found a source where you can purchase either the tubing or you could buy the pre-cut pieces in my Etsy DIY shop. So we'll just set this up in a triangular formation and then we're going to use our wire. It's 20 gauge wire and we're just going to start at the top by bringing this through here and center it in there, bring it around. We have about six inches, so we're just gonna bring it all the way around here. Make sure you push it down on the peg a little bit. And then this one is going to wind around once, like that. And then this one on the left side, around. And then this one is gonna come over to the left side and then this one's going to come over to the right side and these are going to come straight down. Now you can push it down on the jig if you want to kind of push them down a little bit and then you're going to bring it up and remove it from the jig. So from there I can take that here, straighten these out a little bit and we could bring this one on top of the other one. Then I'm just going to get these round nose pliers and just give it a little bit of a jog down there. And then make sure this is nicely centered so there's even amounts on either side. Bring this one around and give it a good little tug. So from there, just clip it. We'll just give it a little pinch so that end is nice and flush in there. So from there, you could put any kind of bead you want. I'm going to put the six millimeter miracle bead and we're going to trim this. I cut the wire a little long, but always better too long than too short. So we'll give it a little bit of a clip. And then you can do a loop either parallel to those loops or perpendicular if you want it to be a little more discreet. So we'll just do that. And then we can put the earring hook on. So I just buy these surgical steel hooks and we're going to stick it on there. And you have a very simple Celtic knot earring. And the great thing about the jig is you can make two earrings exactly the same size. And these ones you can always make the loop bigger and hang them upside down if you like. For the second design I added a peg on the jig just uh, one, two, three, four spaces down from that middle peg. I'm going to take a 10 inch piece of 20 gauge wire and we'll start just by winding it around. So we'll center the wire, bring it around, just around the top peg. And then as we did before, we're going to go like to the, this one, and then this one. If you have to kind of wiggle them a little bit, you can. And then this one, all the way around. And then this one, just as we did with the, previous one and then you can push them down to get them squished together a little bit more and then you're going to remove it from the jig and what we want to do now is straighten these wires out a little bit and just give it a little bit of a jog down so just at about an eighth of an inch 
teeny little jog. Same with this. Let's give it a teeny little jog because what we're going to do is put the bead on both wires. So we'll take a miracle bead. It's six millimeters and the miracle beads have nice large holes so you could fit both wires through the hole. And we're going to push it up and then it just sits nicely because we made that little jog in the wire. So from there we're going to put it back on the jig. Make sure your wires are straight. Stick it on that peg here and we're going to separate these wires and we're going to kind of do the opposite of what we did before. We're going to work our way up so we're going to bring this one around, keep them centered and then jump up and then this one we're going to bring it around and jump up over that one and then bring this one around up to the top. This one has to go over top and around, down and up. Leave this one a little bit below here because what we have to do is wind this one around but then we want to clip it right there because we're going to actually cut it flush. And now this one we're going to bring it up and around here and make sure it goes right to there and then at that point you can remove it and cut it after if you like. So remove it from the jig, bring it over here and make sure you cut it flush right here. So just get your flush cutters, give it a little bit of a cut and now you want to press those with the flat pliers. So just press that so there's no opening there in the wire and the same with the other one you cut. Just push it down so it's nice and flat and then what you can do now is just adjust it so these are stacked one on top of the other. So for that you can get your round pliers and hold the two wires together and then make sure they're stacked up and you can press these together so they hold in place. You can have a look and make sure everything's lined up. If things got a little bit distorted you can just go ahead and adjust things how you like. You could even get these flat pliers and just kind of turn them a little bit to flatten them in place and you really want to make sure these two loops are lined up. So just go ahead and adjust it until those two loops are lined up and you have a nice clean finish. So from there I actually made my own gold hooks because I wanted a loop that's quite large there. If your earring hooks don't have large loops you can always add a jump ring because it has to go through those two wires. We're going to stick it on there and then close it up and it dangles well. If that loop was too small this might not dangle so well but you can always add a jump ring and then rotate this at 90 degrees. So there we have the earring with the double Celtic knot. And here you have the pair of the double Celtic knot earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.